Hello everyone, we're starting this in a very weird place and time. I'm getting ready right now, putting some makeup on my face. I believe this is Vlogmas Day 2. And I'm kind of like starting it in the evening time. It's about 5 p.m. right now, it's already dark out. And I'm going to a little concert. <laughs> I shouldn't say little concert. I'm going to a show that my friend invited me to last minute. It's kind of like an ongoing joke slash it's the story of a couple of my friends went to a festival and they met this guy on the train or the bus back to the fairgrounds or I don't know something like that they met the guy on the bus and he's in a band and then it's just been like a back and forth with them and him since then um, and they were telling me the story and then my friend texted me today and she's like hey we're going to that show today they're in New York do you want to come and I was like why not? I'd love to be a part of this bit. So um, we're going to the show. It's in Williamsburg and I've never been to the venue before. It looks kind of small. It looks like it'll be just a fun adventure, you know? So I'm doing my makeup right now and I thought I would film and start my vlog for you guys. Today is Thursday, December 1st, officially the first day of the best month of an interesting year. I'm putting on primer, Cali Ray. I didn't feel like washing my hair because I think I'm gonna work out in the morning and then wash it. So we're going with the updo route. <laughs> Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Since I'm doing combined vlogs essentially, um, they're kind of daily vlogs because I'm doing every other day. I can kind of do two days in one, but this isn't a full day. This is the Halo Glow from e.l.f. And I've really been liking this. I didn't use it that much before I went to Oregon and I didn't bring it. So um, I'd only tried it out a couple times, but I wore it by itself. I have the medium color and it looked really nice when my skin wasn't too dry. I'm not gonna blend it in. I'll just blend it with my foundation, I think. I wanna start going to more shows like this. I generally go to concerts and live music events that are people that I've already listened to and like pay for tickets in advance. Really, there are so many small venues, intimate kind of shows where it's like pretty inexpensive to go and then you're supporting an artist and discovering new music and I feel like it's an interesting place like to meet people and stuff. I actually don't listen to the band so I should probably play some of their music <laughs> while I get ready. I'm also cooking salmon right now in the oven. I went grocery shopping this morning to kind of get things on track after traveling. I didn't go yesterday because it was in the rain. One of my friends said that she actually really likes their music and that I probably would too because we have similar music taste. So that's good. It's called The Ballroom Thieves. And when I went to put it into my calendar, I accidentally typed, or my autocorrect typed balloon thieves. <laughs> oh my God, this time I accidentally typed buffoon thieves. And the less of it I need, the more I get. Why do I feel like I've heard this? I think she thieves, I'll be a servant to my history. I am into that. Okay, I'm gonna listen to more of their stuff and finish getting ready. I'm gonna show you guys the makeup products that I feel have really changed my, I mean, not drastically. Let's not make any sweeping statements here, but really it like elevated my makeup. Also, this lighting is not super flattering with this color. It's the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. If you have dark under eyes, this will absolutely change the game for you. It is so, so pigmented and brightening and I absolutely love it. I really have been loving, I've had this for a few months now, the Real Beauty Contour Stick, the bronzer. People rave about it for a reason. It's just so blendable. Something that's changed a lot for me, especially as someone with dry skin, is most of my life, until probably like this summer, I was powdering my entire face and putting even just translucent powder just all over um, and baking the under eyes and then just putting powder everywhere else. And I've realized that like, why is that necessary for someone with dry skin? Like now I just concentrate it under my eyes to set my concealer and then I'll tap a little bit on my T-zone, just like nose, forehead, chin. And that's all the powder I need. My cheeks don't need powder, they're already dry. This Pixi On The Glow blush, I use this every single day. I got my mom to get one on Black Friday. She got a different color though. And just sweep it up. I love the color, I love the finish. It's so, so pretty. I just feel like it gives like a natural flush that a powder doesn't. And this is a recent Sephora sale find if you guys watched my vlog when I got this. I'm still obsessed with this. It's the Pillow Talk highlighter. I feel like there's just certain products that make more sense to be cream products than powder. And I think highlighter and blush for that, for me. 
is the case. I've been loving that and then I just blend it out with this blush brush from e.l.f. It's like a putty blush. Instead of just filling in a solid block of my eyebrows like I used to, um, just using a really, really fine tipped pencil. This one's from e.l.f. It's the micro brow pencil in ash brown and i'll just like lightly fleck in the parts that actually have visible gaps instead of just like putting pencil all over the place and personally i like to brush mine up just because they're not super thick to begin with so i feel like adding volume upwards creates the illusion that they're more kind of fluffy and filled out anyway those are the major things and then i've been doing instead of actual eyeshadow looks more recently i've just been doing bronzer on like the outer part of my eye and then like a little highlighter on the inner corner and that's pretty much it unless i'm like doing a makeup look like going out kind of thing oh my salmon gotta go check on my salmon okay let's pause i feel like this look was better in my head like something about the hair i feel like the bun's not messy enough or something i don't know whatever i don't really care before we run out the door putting on my lip stuff i had salmon rice bowl and brush my teeth and now I'm doing my lips so this is the makeup of Mario liner that came in the lip kit that I got I don't love this as much as the lipstick I got with it but it'll work I still feel like I'm not 100% confident in lip lining since I got my filler but we're still figuring it out okay okay good enough I'm gonna run out the door catching the train to a bus to this venue because it's kind of like off the beaten path in Williamsburg. So I'm wearing light wash jeans with this cutout bodysuit and a leather jacket and black boots. So ready for the show should be an interesting adventure. Um, learning some new music. <laughs> so here we go. Waiting for the train or for the bus for seven minutes. And I'm regretting my choice of jacket. Hello everyone, it is now Friday, December 2nd, and um, I've just been on my computer so far this morning, had my coffee, morning routine, all that jazz, and I've been getting to some work on here, and I just put on my workout clothes, so I think I'm going to go down soon and do like a lunchtime leg workout. I really have been neglecting my legs in workouts, I just feel like... I kind of want to build that up a little more over the winter and get some more muscle. I used to be into training legs like multiple times a week and now I do a leg day every couple weeks which is just not enough so I want to make that more consistent. So I'm going to do that today, hopefully get all sore and um, push myself a little bit. Do some more job application work this afternoon and then tonight I have a dinner with some people from my management team, like my social media management team that I haven't seen in years. So I'm very excited. They're in New York. They're usually based in California. So to see them in person and we're going to dinner in the West Village and then I think I'm gonna try and meet up with some friends after and maybe go out or maybe, I don't know what we're gonna do. Anyway, so that's my day. Um, I had so much fun last night at the concert. It was really like nice to go to a place where it wasn't just like a huge, I mean, I've been to small venue shows before, but like not that small. And it was very chill. The crowd was like very relaxed. And there was like, I mean, obviously every spot was a good spot because it's a small venue and you can see really well. And the ballroom themes were so good. As a new listener, um, I was very impressed. So. Really fun, good stuff. It was at Baby's All Right in Brooklyn, and I'd never been there before either, and it was a really cool venue. We sat in the little area outside and had drinks after. Then we went to another bar in Williamsburg, and it was a good night because the show started at seven. It was pretty early, so I got home around like 11 or so, maybe a little after. I just had coffee as a little bit of a pre-workout, and now I'm going to 
finish up what I'm doing here, respond to this last email, and head down to the workout room and do some legs. I very much need it. Clearly later in the day now, I showered. I also opened my mail and I wanna show you guys one of the packages I got. But something else that came in the mail, which was so exciting, it was my bridesmaid's dress for Sierra's wedding in June. So I got it six, seven months early. Um, but they were on sale for Black Friday. I figured I might as well just go ahead and order it now. And it came today and it's so cute. I would have showed you guys, but because it's like not my wedding, obviously. Um, I don't know how much she wants to share, like keep secret or private. Obviously it's like not her wedding dress or anything. But again, I just feel like that's for her to share when she wants, um, but I, it fit and everything. So that was good. So I was happy with that. I don't think I'll have to get it like altered, you know, assuming I'll be the same size seven months from now. But that was exciting. It's just one of those things it really makes you realize like wow this is real like my best friends are getting married next year like we're growing up all that stuff and i feel like those moments sometimes hit you in the smallest ways like the smallest signs i cannot wait absolutely cannot wait for my friends weddings next year i just love weddings so much and they're just such fun celebrations and i've never been in one before I got a package from my management company who i'm going to dinner with tonight table rock they always do the cutest little winter packages sometimes they do summer ones too new year's jamboree two pens which honestly i absolutely love the pens that they send they're iconic and they work so well so i'm really glad i got two new ones because one of them i ran out of ink and with the pen they sent a 2023 goals planner so i'm gonna open this and see what the inside looks like. I've never had a gold planner before. I don't know if it's actually like printed or prompted or anything. How cute is this? It's like actually embossed. Okay, I think it's like just a normal planner. They have a page for goals, but it's just kind of open to whatever you want to make it. And then they have normal month by month and day by day planner pages. So very thoughtful. 2023, holy shit. They always send a little sweater in this one. I love the color, the baby blue, and it has stripes and a little palm tree with their logo on the back. So, very sweet. Thank you to my Table Rock people who may be watching this. You guys are the best, and I'm excited to see you at dinner tonight. Anyway, I just decided to fully get ready a little bit early because I want to film decorating my tree. It's still just lights back there, but I want to add the ornaments. And I figured instead of, well, I don't know, I'll probably montage some of it just because it's probably gonna take a while. But instead of just montaging, like I kind of wanted to talk through and just have like a heart to heart, just kind of chat about how I've been feeling. So let's pull out the ornaments that I got last year that we're gonna decorate my tree with. I also got these from Michael's last year. They're a 32 piece shatterproof ornament they're kind of like a collection of like gold champagne some glittery ornaments i do think they might look a little big on this skinny tree but we're gonna do our best i also just realized that they don't have the actual hooks that come with them they just have the little loops at the top of the ornament i think these must have been returned or something because this is broken <laughs> here we go that's what i mean by that so let's see if we can just put them on the edge of the tree it's probably not that good for the branches. The first ornament of Christmas. She's beauty and she's grace. I'm gonna get glitter all over me, but for a good cause. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do it with all the loops because whatever. Anyway, I just, uh, now I'm like hesitant. I'm feeling a little bit camera shy because what I wanted to talk about is just like the frustration of feeling stagnant at times in your life. And I just feel like I've been a little bit down recently. And I don't know, like it's hard because looking back or comparing yourself to, you know, like a past version of yourself or another time, like a year ago, at this time I was like, see now I'm like hesitant because I'm like, do I even want to talk about this? Because again, I feel like I've been talking about my relationship a lot recently in an annoying way and I don't want it to come off as like, that's all I'm thinking about, but it's just like this time last year, I was, you know, getting so excited about dating this new guy, being in the new relationship bubble and like 
Christmas in New York and blah 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 and I was also like doing so well in my job and absolutely loving what I got to do for work every day and I just felt like I was in a, such a different place a year ago and now I'm like okay a whole year has passed and I feel like I've moved backward in a sense and logically I know that that's not the case and that life is just not linear and no one's path is just up and up and up and even like in this flop era, it feels like I'm in now where I'm just kind of like sitting here waiting for something to happen. While I am like doing things and trying to make moves and trying to move forward, I just feel like I'm not catching a break yet. So while that's happening, I also have the other side of me that's like, okay, well I have it so good because I'm still living in my dream city and I have amazing friends and I still have an income doing social media that a lot of people don't have the privilege of so I'm not trying to come off as like complaining about my situation but I just wanted to share how it's been <laughs> how I've been feeling recently about it in case it is something that other people are going through or like I don't know I just feel like I don't want my vlogs to be so superficial and only like oh yeah like now I'm going to get coffee I'm just in such a weird headspace these days where I am overall happy and content and like deep down I know 100% that like those things that are behind me are behind me for a reason and it wasn't the right thing and I am going to find something better but it's just the in-between that just feels like it's dragging out forever <laughs> with no end like I feel like I've been in this flop era for months. <laughs> I just don't like the feeling of being stagnant and like the effort that I'm putting out to try and get somewhere isn't going anywhere. Ah, me as I'm happily decorating my Christmas. I'm just kind of like airing out my thoughts right now and I really hope that they're not coming off wrong or tone deaf or anything because I really am not trying to be complaining because two things can exist at the same time. You know, I can be in like a comfortable situation and still feel frustrated that I'm not progressing in ways that I would like to elsewhere. Okay, I think these ornaments are cute. <laughs> in, other, in other news. Oh, my mom just pressed her friendship lamp. This is such a good gift, by the way. Um, I've definitely vlogged this before, but you see that purple light on my nightstand? It's a friendship lamp that I bought me one and my mom one and gave her, I think it was a Mother's Day present. And she has it plugged in at her desk. And basically when she touches it in Oregon or wherever it is, um, my lamp lights up her color, which is purple. And then I know that she's thinking of me. And then I go over and I see it lit up. Or I could just do this whenever I want, obviously. And I touch it and it turns green and then hers will turn green. And so she knows that I'm thinking of her too. And it's actually so, oh, she already hit me back. What, bitch? Are we in a race? Let's see how long it takes. Do I even step away? Okay, where'd you go? Also, when I was home last week, she told me she just got a new computer. My dad got her a new computer set up as an early present, which was very sweet. Her birthday's next week, so happy early birthday. But she told me, because I had seen it been lighting up like more than usual recently, and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Like, she's been thinking of me. And she tells me when I'm home last week, she's like, yeah, this new setup with the computer, like, I keep bumping the lamp all the time. And when I just, like, wake up my mouse, it just turns on sometimes. And I'm like, oh, so you haven't been thinking of me. She never thinks of me, except when the lamp is green. Side note, good gift. I think it's called Friendship Lamps. And I know that they just had a sale. It might be over after Cyber Monday, etc. But I just feel like I overthink how every single word that I say is going to come off. And I don't want things to be misinterpreted of like how I feel about my situation because I have so much to be grateful for and I absolutely am. But I think I just expect so much of myself and I know where I want to be, so it's frustrating when you just feel like you're kind of on a treadmill that's not moving anywhere, but you're running and you're putting out energy that just isn't going forward. That's how I feel right now. So if anyone else feels like that, I just am really hoping and manifesting 2023 to be a year of growth and I don't know, making moves and having new opportunities and challenging myself more and like going out and just feeling like I'm a new person again. You know what I mean? Like I look back at myself a year ago and actually I have grown in insane ways. I don't know, there's just always certain aspects and that's just life, you know, like you're never gonna be 
happy with every aspect of your life and as soon as you achieve one thing that you thought would make you happy you find another thing that you know will make you twice as happy as you were you know what i mean like it is what it is and we're still just trying to embrace it but it's okay to feel a little bit frustrated i guess this is what i'm getting at hopefully this helped someone and didn't just come off as like a me bitching situation still am right here trying so anyway and i feel like that's what i've been saying in my vlogs so it's also probably annoying and repetitive for you guys to listen to um but that's where my headspace is at cheers tis the season <laughs> And obviously like with the relationship and everything too, like last year, yes, I was so happy and excited in this like new relationship, blah, 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 blah. But at the same time, like I know that it was not meant to work out. He's not my person. So I'm better off for it being on my own and having grown from the relationship in a way that can bring me closer to the person that I want to be when I find, you know, a forever person, if that's a thing. But it's still like, that's the logic. I accept it, I see it, I understand it, but I still have my feelings of like, oh, but that was such a happy time and blah, 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 you know what I mean? I think I need to charge my camera. Oh, shit, I broke this one. And you probably don't need to see me decorate the entire tree. You got the gist. Anyway, that was just kind of the chat that I wanted to have in this vlog. I'm trying to take like as much time for self-reflection as I can, especially in this last month of the year, like really taking stock. That's kind of like the headspace I want to be in. And this last month is just really reflective and taking in and being grateful for as much as I can of what I've learned in the past year and using that to propel me forward in the new year. God willing. Okay, let's finish decorating the tree and charge my camera and I will check in with you guys. I probably need to leave here maybe in like an hour or so, so I just need to keep an eye on the clock. But I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos while I finish my tree ornaments. I don't have a tree topper, which I need to get. Maybe, oh, you know what would be good? I should just print a picture of Justin Bieber and put him at the top of my tree drummer boy in our hearts forever even though it's copyrighted and i can't use it in my vlog okay the tree is done um i just had a scare because i literally this camera fell over but i've inspected she looks okay okay that's a shadow Whew. that was a scary moment you guys this is not a cheap camera so we're alive it is almost time for me to head out the door to go to dinner it's actually in nolita i thought it was in west village but they changed it and I'm trying to remember the name of where we're going. I've actually edited most of this vlog, so that's good. Gotta get on top of like day of editing. I think the ornaments worked out well for this tree. I definitely concentrated them more to the top half, but I feel like the bottom half isn't as important, so it's okay if it's a little more sparse. So my outfit of the night for dinner and drinks is, I've been wearing it already, so you've already seen, but I'm wearing this cutout shoulder cold shoulder sweater the ariella cutout sweater from astro the label it's medium so very cute it has like a cable knit sleeve it's really comfy i tucked the front into these pants which are leather these leather pants are from gap they're not real leather but they're so cute and flattering comfortable i like them because they're warm they're a great winter pant and they're a lot more affordable than other brands like the aritzia ones and stuff faux fur coat by Lost in Wander. It's like a reddish brown. I really like the look of leather pants with furry coats. Bar Pascal, that's where we're going for dinner. I've never been. It's in Nolita. My friends and I are gonna go to Rin Tin Tin after, or just somewhere around there because we don't have a reservation. Really haven't been out and about much since I've gotten back. So this weekend, I mean, I think it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But this weekend, I'm sure will be much more exciting to film and we'll be doing a lot more Christmassy things to come. See what kind of footage I get for you guys and that'll be the end of Vlogmas Day 2. So, if I don't say it later, thanks for watching, subscribe, love you, let's go. Just had like three different groups of tourists ask for directions and honestly, such a compliment, as if I know where I'm going, but I actually did, so that's good. Okay, I just left dinner. It was so good. Um, we got this like truffle pizza, amazing. And it was so good to see my managers and I got to meet some new people there too, and it was just 
lovely. So now I'm headed to Renton Tin and I'm gonna be my friends for this. 